now it's time to start connecting the wires between the different modules and boards. I'll start by connecting first the motor driver board to the chassis to control the motors. This should be relatively easy connection, we just need to be careful about the polarity. All the cables are packed together. I will separate them. And from the cables I will take these two small cables with small connectors that will go into the chassis red and black wires. They will be connected on the two sides. Be careful, they have key which should go into this slit right here at front of the connector. So the key goes to the front of the car. And plug into the connector. Do the same for this one. And make sure they are fully inserted. Next we need to unscrew these four screws so we can insert the cables inside these connectors on the motor driver board. Each cable goes to the corresponding side and according to the manual the red wire is supposed to go toward the back of the car. If something is wrong we can always swap the wires to correct the direction of the car. I will need to switch to the flat screwdriver Actually, I probably will need the smaller screwdriver for the set. This smaller screwdriver, Philips. And use it to unscrew the bolts. Pick the red wire, plug it into the connection point closer to the back of the chassis, the back of the car and tighten the bolt. It should be plugged like this under this metal plate here. Do the same with the black wire in the connection point closer to the front of the car. This one is properly connected. Now I will repeat the same procedure for this one. Insert and tighten. Make sure that the red wire is closest to the back of the chassis. The same thing for the black wire. tighten. The wires are properly connected. Now we will connect the battery, the battery box, to the motor driver board and the Arduino. I will take the box out. There is a special opening through which we need to run the battery box cables. I'll take the two cables and insert them through this opening. The battery box can be placed again on the bottom with the velcro. So it will be stable while we are working on the cables. 
Then we need the red and black wires from the set of wires and this connector for the Arduino board. I can put the connector so it will stay in place while I'm working on it. Just very careful not to press very hard while I unscrew it. Pick the red wire and insert it into the connector. Loosen the connector so the wire can go inside and insert it. Pick this red wire, twist the end together and insert together with the wire from the battery. Be careful both of them to be fully inserted in the connector. And careful without pressing tighten the bolt. Now we can support it and tighten better until fully tightened. Repeat the same procedure with the black cable. Twist, pick the other cable, put the two cables together and insert them in the same opening. Where it says minus on the connector. Make sure that the red wire goes to plus and the black wire goes to minus. Insert into the connection point of the connector and while supporting the connector, tighten. Now we can remove it from the Arduino, tighten. And now we have power from the battery into Arduino. The other end of the black and red wires, we need to twist them. They will go into the two connection points of the motor driver board. Unfortunately, the connection points are indicated below the motor driver board. However, the common people have indicated that we need the battery plus and minus to be connected to these two pins. You can see it here. So now we can take the black wire and according to the Elego instruction it will go to the pin in the middle. The pin on this side will not be connected and the pin on the outer edge will be plus from the battery. So that will be the red wire. We start with the black wire in the middle. Loosen the bolt. Insert the wire. And tighten. Loosen the connection point which is closest to the edge. Insert the red wire. And tighten. Now both the Arduino and the motor driver board are powered from the battery underneath the chassis.
Now we will connect the motor driver board to the sensor shield on top of Arduino. The motor driver board can be connected to the Arduino two different ways with four or six wires. These jumpers allow you to switch between the two modes. The first mode is two wires per motor, the other is three wires per motor. The common people have decided to make this robot using the six wires mode and they have prepared a cable with six wires connector. To switch between the two modes you need to use these jumpers. If I remove the jumpers, we will switch from 4 to 6 wire mode. If the jumper is difficult to access, you can use the screwdriver. The screwdriver can be switched between flat and Phillips and we will use the flat to grab the corner of the jumper and to remove it. The jumper has these little areas here where you can, it's some kind of groove where you can grab the jumper or use screwdriver to grab and pull it out. Now that the jumpers are removed, we can use these six connection points of the connector to plug the cable. We will plug the cable with the red wires on the right side of the card when the card when you look at the card from the back. Plug into the connector and these three red wires oriented the same way as on the Arduino should go in connection points 5, 6 and 7. On the sensor shield where it says S or signal. So it will be in these three connection points right here signal 5, 6 and 7. So we'll plug the cable like this and fully insert. The next three connection points again oriented the same way as on the board. You can see that the cable is not twisted. Should be connected to 8, 9 and 10 right here. So again I will insert the cable and you can see that the three cables are clearly oriented the same way on both sides. No cables are crossing each other. The motor driver board is now connected to the Arduino and we can control the motors.